Hi everyone, welcome back to part three of the Cinderella, or the, not Cinderella, but the carriage uh, diaper cake, Cinderella carriage diaper cake, whatever you want to call it. Not really Cinderella, just carriage diaper cake. Afraid I'll get in trouble with Disney if I say the other word. Okay, so um, I went ahead and I fixed um, the ends here to where they didn't slide and what you can do is use some double-sided tape You don't need much just a little bit if you've gotten this far and there you find that they're still Moving just put um, just slide it down just a little bit put a little bit of double-sided tape and then push them back up and it uh, It works great so uh, The next thing that we're going to do then is I'm going to grab um, I guess <clears throat> I'll use some of these washcloths that I have here, and I really should have jumped ahead and already had these open, but I'm, I'm trying my best to make it along with you. That way uh, you can kind of see. If I do make mistakes, you know, some people like to see that. Um, because they like to see uh, how you can fix them just in case. So I think I'll use, uh, let's see here. Oops. I want to make sure all those little. things are out there. I think I'll use this one. Yeah, I think I'll use that one, and let's use the, these two pink ones. I'll put the rose one somewhere else. Yeah. Okay, so let's see here. I don't remember how uh, they were folding them in that video because I couldn't keep up with them. They were going so fast. Let's see here. There we go. So, did you see how I did that? I just kind of measured what my length was there that I needed. And just kind of folded it in. I'm just using scotch tape right now uh, on this. I'm hoping that this was the way the video I think was showing. I'm sure it was showing like this, but you know what I think I would do? I almost think I would put this on first. Um, just because it may be a little bit easier. I don't know, maybe not, but it may be. In a perfect world, I would have already washed, I would have washed these washcloths and not had those wrinkles in it, but I kind of like how that looks, maybe. Well, so I did get the uh, I went and grabbed the wire because I had totally forgotten about that and this is the wire I'll show it to you better in just a second and explain it to you I'm going to run out of tape. Okay. Tap those little tabs. 
tags in. Oh, hopefully I'll have enough tape to to do this segment anyway. Oh, I'll have to run and get more tape. I don't know if I'm going to need any more right now or not. Um, but this is the wire that I was telling you. I found it at Hobby Lobby, and it is 16 gauge. There's eight yards in it. Um, always use your coupon. Don't don't ever pay that. Wait until it goes. Uh, half off or uh, or there's a 40% off coupon every week so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take just take the end this is an old uh, roll that I had that had the my tool on it um, but you, you certainly don't have to have this what you're just what you're looking for is something circular and I'm going to need something a little bit smaller than that really um, because we're going to make some curly cues but what I may be able to do is just start it like this and then make them smaller so I'm just rolling it around Rolling it around this. Okay. What would work even better is if you had uh yeah. Hang on one second. Let me find something smaller. Hmm. This is a lid off of a Pepsi bottle. Let's see if I can use that and form it. Not the most ideal thing, and you know, you may know of something else that would be even better. They did not show how they made their. Uh, little curls in the video, but I need wire straighteners. One second. So I just have some wire trimmers here, or needle nose pliers is what I have. So I can tell you right now, these, um, this 18 gauge wire, it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to work with. And I think that we're just going to have to look there. That looks pretty good, huh? Now I need three more like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And enough to wrap it around like that. Okay. Now I need to make three more like this. Um, I think what I'll do is um, I'm going to put one on here and show you how it works. And then um, I'm going to move on to um, 
working with this and showing you what to put the diapers and stuff that I'm going to put in there. And then um, I'll go to the next part. And um, in between, I'll finish making these because I think that what I may do is just so that you're not bored to death, this is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to try to lay these out and try to mimic um, three more of those by bending this and working with it. But, you know, that could take me a while. And um, is, I don't think that you want to see that. But <clears throat> what we're going to do here is we will take and put these on right here. On the back and I didn't get it long enough I didn't get my wire long enough uh -uh. no I sure didn't well there's a lesson learned so I'm going to do mine like that. It just won't have as big of a loop in it. Can you see that? Can you see that? And right here is where I looped it around. And then I just kind of twisted it right there. Let's see. We'll pretend like that's the top. Yeah. We may need to, uh, can you see what I'm doing here? We may need these a little bigger. So, um, let me show you what I'm gonna do with this cause I may go back and make those as big as they were but give myself a little bit longer of a lead. Um, and I'm hoping that I have enough of this cause that's the only one that I have of that. Um, but what I'm gonna do on this, is I'm going to take um, one of the uh, receiving blankets and I only needed one Which one can we use? Which one, which one, which one? Well, why don't we use, I think I'm gonna use the bibs off that. Why don't we use this one? Let's use this receiving blanket. Those are a four pack of, I mean, I, they came in a four pack, but I think I'm going to do this and then I'm going to take some diapers. Remember how I told you that we would just try to fill this in with diapers to make it stable down here in the bottom. So that looks like a pretty good stack. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's do 14. 14 there. And then 14. Okay. And that was purely uh, me just guessing on that. You all use whatever you think looks looks good to you. So you can see here I'm just pulling those around like that and over here is where my bottom comes in and I swear I didn't get the tape.
This is real life, people. <laughs> this is how it goes. Sorry. Okay. So, I'm just going to tape this. And I'm going to try to get it as tight as possible. And this is just um, regular scotch tape. This isn't the scotch uh, double-sided tape. Like what we used on the inside of those. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of wrap this like it's a present maybe. figure out some way to finish it off like that. Is that in frame? Oh yeah. And over here on this side. don't know how many diapers come in an average pack of of diapers but um, it may be possible that you could get away with just one pack of diapers rather than buying the great big box like I did I bought the great big box because um, I have another diaper cake to make but I'll give you the, the complete count when we're done We're just going to tuck this inside. I'm not sure which way we're going to go with it yet. But I do know that I want my wire at the top. Like it opens up enough. I'm gonna have to get down here for a second and kind of see. I don't feel like it opens up enough. So where's the wire? What you could do here, I'm turning it long ways because I think that's the, that's how it looks the best and then we'll take it over this way but what you could very well do right here and that would look really really cute is to use another receiving blanket and wrap up a bag of not a bag but one of the boxes of the large boxes of Huggies um, the baby wipes you know the big the big plastic ones and just wrap that up but I don't uh, I don't have um, I don't have those readily available so I think maybe I'll just wrap up what's left of this pack of diapers and use it up there somehow. Still trying to get that. Because I want that at the top. Or can we turn it this way? 
I know what we can do. Wait a minute. We can do that. Put the rest of these at the foot. At the foot. Can you see that? Oh, you guys can see it better than I can. Then, let's take and put, uh, fold this back just a little bit. Maybe fold it back and then like that. Just did it like so. Fold that down, kind of tuck it in. Then I'm going to bring it around. You can't see it here for a second, but we kind of make this like it's uh, the bed covering. <laughs> I'll show you in just a second what I've done. Try not to get my head in the way. And... Okay, there we go. Then I could even turn that back one more to where you can kind of see. And what if hmm, what if we took these other two little washcloths? And roll them. Can you see what I've done in there? Turned them, let's see, turned them this way. We only need one. You could always take a bottle. Look at there. How sweet. I think I may have to sit down for this to where I can see in there. It's I can't see inside my carriage. <laughs> okay, give me just a second. I'm trying to make like a, uh, well, what if I do both of them? Well, that would make, that would make a larger roll, wouldn't it? But you may be able to roll a, uh, I just rolled two washcloths up, but you could put a baby bottle in that. That would be the cutest little thing. Just um, put one of the baby bottles in it. So, put this in here. There we go. Can you see in there? If I did. Can you see it? Okay. Okay, so then the top. I'm looking a little. I'm sagging a little right there, aren't I? Keep it completely round. Maybe all those diapers down there wasn't a good idea. I think this is just one of those things where we're going to have to. And of course, it's going to uh, it's going to all depend as well on what uh, what size of your paper lantern you have. Make a little headboard back here. Diapers. Okay. I can fix that in a minute. 
but I wanted to show you <clears throat> how I was going to decorate the top. I have um, a tiara here. And here is where I was going to use, this is a burpin cloth. This is where I was going to use one of these just over the top. And I'm going to tape it down. Can you see it? double-sided tape would work even better because you could tuck it up and under for that but then we're gonna we're gonna put the little tiara on there I'm gonna raise you up if you have vertigo, I'm sorry. I'm close your eyes for just a second. Whoops. Okay. There you go. Can you see the little tiara? Um, I think the best way to do that is just, I'm just going to tape it. Just tape it on too. So it doesn't fall off. Looks like we're centered. There's that. There's that. And I think um, the only thing that I've run into a problem with right here um, is this inside and I need to straighten my bedding out a little bit. And um, I think I will leave that little headboard with the diapers in there. Um, I may be even be able to use another um, one of the burping cloths to fold over the head headboard um, but I'm just gonna have to work with it just a little bit more and so I'm going to end it right here while I go back and work on these so go ahead and I'm going to work on these and then I'm going to fidget with this and then I'll come back and um, show you how we're going to finish it up finish it up with decorating it at all and all so I'll see you in just a little bit. Have fun.